Scientists estimate that almost every piece of plastic made since Bakelite in 1907 still exists in some form or other. They believe it takes hundreds of years to break down in the environment. And from streets and landfills to storm drains, streams, and then rivers, a great deal of plastic finds its way into the ocean, where it can float around indefinitely. One of the people working on a solution is one of tomorrow's heroes. Globally, only 8% of plastic packaging is being recycled. The majority of it is being landfilled, and a lot of it goes into the oceans. Frankly, our world hasn't been moving forward in innovating plastic recycling for the past decades. My name is Miranda Wayne. I'm 23 years old. I'm an entrepreneur and innovator, and I'm the co-founder of BioSelection. I've been working on developing innovations to solve the plastic problem ever since I was 17 years old. My high school best friend and I took a field trip to a waste transfer station in Vancouver, Canada, and we were just astounded by how much plastic packaging goes to the landfill. We actually don't know how long it takes for plastics to break down. There are numbers around the world saying it takes longer than 1,500 years. About half of the peninsula in the San Francisco Bay Area, every day 11 metric tons of this material is being recovered at our partner facility. That's about the same weight as about three to four commercial trucks. So imagine how much film it takes to make up that weight, considering each plastic bag only weighs about three to five grams. What we have developed is an innovative process, and this process can be used at large scales to process tons and tons of material um, around the world every day. We're using catalysts that can break down plastics by basically unlocking a mechanism that allows the plastic to have a chain reaction with itself. We are taking dirty plastics, right now we're focusing on films uh, that are not recyclable. We turn them into chemicals that are essential precursors for products such as nylon, uh, nylon yarn, and also nylon resin that can be used to make products in the automotive and apparel industries. Right now we're able to achieve about 70% conversion from plastic waste material to, um, to these chemicals. My dream is to be able to see that something that's you know a sad piece of plastic that right now would go to the ocean or landfill could be used to make a brand new Patagonia jacket or a brand new pair of running shoes. When it comes to solving these massive world problems that we have, many of the answers are embedded in technology. There's so much creativity out there, so much knowledge in our world. I believe we are able to solve all of them if we try.